Quick question. As a consumer, what is it that you're actually consuming? In order to know where you're going, you first have to know where you've been. Now, naturally, most of our waste actually comes from our food consumption. So the first thing that I recommend that you guys do is take a look at your recycling bin, not your refrigerator, because what's important about this, this is going to give you a picture of the things that you're buying that are actually leaving behind single use waste, because we're not focusing on the things that you're consuming in their entirety. And these are the things that you're going to indicate on your shopping list or your grocery list. Because now when you go to the supermarket, these are the things that you're going to try to replace. In other words, instead of buying the cherry tomatoes, maybe just get some on the vine. The items you've indicated are the ones that you want to look for alternatives or substitutes. And since plastic specifically is one of our biggest problems, that's what we're gonna focus on first. And instead of grabbing a bag of salad, buy it fresh. And gradually, one by one, as you go through your list, again, just look for substitutions. And this way you can store it in your own reusable bags, creating almost no waste. Almost, because they do still come with twist ties around them. Plastic isn't the only culprit. Remember, the focus is producing less waste. And while berries are close to impossible to not buy in plastic cartons, you do usually have a little bit more flexibility with milks. If you also drink nut milks or plant-based milks and are finding your options a little bit more limited, a great hack as well is to just buy nut butters because these you can sometimes find in glass jars. And if you guys need a recipe for almond milk, I've got that too. So now we're just gonna take everything that we just practiced and apply it to our beauty items as well. Go through all of the items that you currently use and ask yourself, where can I find alternatives? And specifically how you do that is you just ask yourself, am I committed to this brand? Is this a staple for me? Or can I try something different? One resource that I came upon and has been helping me quite a bit is um, the package free shop. So for me, these are some of the substitutions that I've made. However, you'll notice that some things, there are still products that I use that come in plastic packaging. Like for instance, my electronic toothbrush, which of course has refillable heads. I, and my dentist, have deemed this a necessity. So this is something that for me is not replaceable. However, I do try to do my part by buying those replacement heads less frequently. So if you have any staples or products that you're just not willing to part with, that's okay. Remember, this is about being conscious. So right now, only focus on what you can do and not what you should do. And remember too that living a more sustainable life doesn't mean that you have to go out and buy anything. In fact, it's actually about buying less. Again, it's just about being mindful. So any additional purchases that you make are to make your life more convenient. Because if it's harder to be sustainable, then there would be no incentive for anyone to do it. Other than the obvious benefits, of course. This is about you. It's about your life. So it has to fit your needs. Which brings me to my next category. Lifestyle. This is about controlling your contribution to the environment. Your footprint may or not be identical to everyone else's. So just like we did with our products, we're now going to focus on our behavior. Look at your daily routine and see what substitutions you can make that follow your habits. For example, if you know that you like to go to the grocery store after you go to work, then keep reusable bags in your car. Or if you always leave from your house, then just put them somewhere that you know you're gonna see them. For me, I hang them in my kitchen because if I don't physically see it, it doesn't exist. The way my mind is set up, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. In fact, anytime that you leave your house, you should be grabbing a reusable bag because we often make spontaneous purchases when we go out. So even if you don't plan to buy something, just take one anyway. By the way, I do have a DIY for this. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll link it up in the cards and down in the description box. Think about it, not being home is like the utmost reason why we purchase a lot of single-use items. So whether you're just running errands or going to work, your requirement for a beverage or some type of sustenance is going to arise at some point. Plus, carrying a reusable bottle is like the most common and probably the most blatant reminder that you should be drinking water. But of course, you can put whatever you want on it. The point is, is that this is going to keep you hydrated and that's not a bad thing for anyone. You can also apply this to taking your own lunch or snacks to work as well. That way you aren't eating out as much, which will probably save you money in the long run. And since we're on the subject, I can't go without mentioning that eating less meat is actually kinder to our ecosystem. So you could consider something like having meatless Mondays or just incorporating more plant-based meals into your diet more often. So if you're going to meet family or friends, the chances are even higher that you're going to probably eat or drink out. So maybe you want to consider taking a straw or cutlery with you. 
especially if you already have intentions of eating at a particular place and you know that they don't have non-disposable options. So some of the places that I like to go to or used to like to go to because I haven't actually ordered any takeout while I've been in self-isolation and have plastic free options for me to use and also reusable options. So if you really wanted to, you could actually just change some of the places that you frequent if they create too much waste or more than you're liking. But no pressure, that's going to be a lot of change for some people. Remember, this is about your lifestyle. I can't stress this enough, guys, because if you can't maintain this and it makes your life harder or more difficult, you're not going to do it. And at the end of the day, that is helpful to no one. Now, whether you're a beginner and transitioning or you've already started your journey and perhaps they're maybe finding this a little bit difficult, another resource that I recommend to you guys is Essentialism. In fact, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably heard me listening to this on Audible. And the reason that I'm recommending this audiobook is because, as the name implies, it's going to help you wean out the things in your life that aren't essential. And then with that knowledge, you can apply it to any aspect of your life. Whether you're just busy and find it difficult to take the time to read, or it's not your favorite activity no matter how much time you have, like right now, listening to an audiobook is a great alternative because I never think that there's an excuse for not reading. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've never been an audio person because I am such a visual learner, which means that noise is usually very distracting to me. However, the way that I've been able to make it work is by listening while I'm doing activities that don't necessarily require my focus. So while we're all at home, Audible actually wants to give us more content to enjoy. Therefore, members can now download all of the Audible original monthly selections rather than having access to two of them along with one free audiobook of your choice. And actually, members also have unlimited access to guided wellness programs. So that can include sleeping programs that can help you wind down or de-stress. As we are all confronted with these new challenges of social distancing, we're all just looking for a way to just stay unbothered and also stay entertained. So stories or motivational books can be that escape that you need. I've just learned that Audible has launched stories.audible.com where anyone can stream hundreds of titles completely free, no strings attached. You don't even need to be an Audible member to access these free stories. And not only that, the experience is completely ad free. So there's no need to download an app or sign up or log in. All you have to do is click stream and listen. So if you guys do want to try it out, all you have to do is go to www.audible.com backslash a between e or text a between e to 500 500 to get one free audiobook your unlimited audible originals and a 30-day free trial so this is just the beginning i've only chipped the iceberg because i don't want this video to get too long or seem too intimidating so if there are any areas of your life or items in particular or things you just have questions about leave them down in the comment section and if you want me to do a part two just leave this emoji if your goal is to ultimately become zero waste, then you can just take these principles and keep substituting until you are eventually not only plastic free, but waste free. And I applaud you for your dedication and I thank you. If you're just looking to make some changes to be as conscious as you can, I also applaud you. Again, this is not about being perfect. The objective here is just to do better. So keep challenging your purchases and your lifestyle choices and just ask yourself, does this behavior support my values concerning the environment or whatever your motivation is? Be patient with yourself and remember that small tasks add up to big change. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up because it lets me know what you want to see more of. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos because I have lots more to watch on pretty much any category. I'm a Gemini. I do that.